Hey guys, this is phase one. The Drake Corsair finally dropped into the PTU and starts is now for 3.17.4 and it's open to everybody. Today in this video, I want to show you, uh, give you a quick tour of the ship to see uh, exactly what it comes with and some of the advantages of it and some of the disadvantages of it. All right, so let's get right into it. So before we move forward, I'd like to give a shout out to my channel members and Patreon. All right, so just wanted to give you guys a quick look on the outside from the perspective as yourself um just to give some sense of scale um th this is a really uh it's a pretty big ship it's really cool you know this is uh I'm, I'm really impressed i think this is the best drake ship thus far and uh they did not uh disappoint at all i love the fact that it lands so low kind of like a low rider it's really cool man it's it's uh it, it's 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 really cool i like it i like it i like it um as you can see the back here has tons of space uh for the cargo and um this ship actually has two entrances you have the back hatch here and um as well as if you go back here we'll i'll quickly show you if you go up here you can also enter from back up here as well so there you go. so you could also enter from here and uh what makes this unique is this will allow you to actually go all the way to the roof of the ship which no other ship has this feature yet so uh this is i guess is the first ship that has this feature and hopefully we will see this in uh current ships and the up and coming ships because repairing is going to be an aspect of the game and it's going to be important to be able to get up on your roof when you're not in space to be able to do uh, to patch things up before you head out again. All right, so it's really cool. I like it. Um, we're going to go back to the first floor. And we're going to see the rest of the ship, all right? Okay. Can I close this? It does not give me the option to go to. Okay, so um, we're gonna first start off with give you some sense of scale. We're gonna first start off with the uh, cargo, the cargo bay itself, right? It is a really cool. There's a lot of space here. There's a lot of space here. I in the PU I do have a nurse rover in here, and there's tons of space it fits within the yellow lines easily so you can walk around pretty easily with it um so that's that's a nice uh it's really nice that it has that extra space there's some floodlights back here if you're out in the night you can uh turn them on so you can see as you're bringing in vehicles or cargo so the option to turn it on and off is over here so if you look here you'll notice that it's now gone okay it's now off at me so let's close this up so this is the um i forget the amount of cargo i think is it's 72 i'm not sure uh the amount of uh space it actually has but let's move on so here is what i would say the central hub of the ship this is where you access the components in order to turn off the light okay so the light was on yeah so this is where you have access to you see the fuel tanks here okay here you have your batteries so this is the first introduction of actually physically seeing batteries i don't think um there will be gameplay mechanics in uh p174 yet for batteries but uh, this is our first time seeing batteries okay so um this is a cooler your power plant and here you can actually see batteries here so i'm not sure how we'll be able to interact with batteries but it I'm, I'm sure it's here for a purpose so all right um another battery here jump drive here and here if you access here you have the docking port here all right for your um you know you have some closets you have some uh gun racks to go along with it 
um, if you ever need to do some EVA or transition from one ship to the other. Okay, so that's that. Up next, the next room is the mess hall and the uh, living area for the rest of the crew. So I'll show you what one of them looks like. Not too spacious, but it's okay. You know, you've got your table here. The rest of those rooms, these are three other rooms, two, uh, two rooms, three rooms in here total. There's a third one in the uh, bridge area for the, there's a fourth one in the bridge area for the captain. Okay. So you got your kitchenette here, as well as your washroom and uh, bath. Okay, so uh, really cool. So now, when we first came, I showed you that elevator. This is the elevator. The middle button here sends you is is uh, this floor here. So. Um, so here then you you have access to your the two turrets on the sides okay right and then when you move forward in here this is your bridge here so this is what you see as the captain's quarters the same as the other ones and um you have a co-pilot seat let's see what that looks like With this, you have access to a remote turret. Pretty good field of view. All right, pretty good field of view. And then, um, so then you few now if you look at the uh, pilot seat now. It looks awesome. I think this is a really well done uh, cockpit. You have a decent feel. You have a decent a decent feel um, view, and uh, you have a lot of MFDs to work with, including the one laying on the floor right here too. So that's really awesome. Um, so ultimately, this is the Corsair. So now, when it comes to flight, as I tested it in the PU. It's um, it it's more comparable to your constellation, right? Um, your pitching, your yawing, isn't too good, but uh, rolling is pretty decent. So, uh, when you're going into combat, because it struggles to pitch and yaw, it's best to go after conny sized or larger ships. Um, if you're going solo, if you uh, have some gunners with you then you can engage fighters. But if you don't, you're gonna struggle to hit fighters by yourself. So um, it seems like this thing is designed to uh, fight Connie sized MSR sized ships um, with ease. It will definitely melt. Um, it, the, pilot, the pilot has access to six guns in total, right? These are gimbaled size fours in the front there and the two twos are size threes. The gimbal size fours can be switched with fixed size five. So that's a lot of firepower uh, going up against a constellation. That will melt a constellation, right? This thing goes, this thing runs with a size three shield generator, but I assume that the hull point, the health points of its hull isn't probably gonna be too good, but it's gonna rely heavily on its shield and its firepower to dismantle whatever it's going after quickly. Okay, so um, it's not too fast. I think the speed, I think it's like 9, 10 um, in terms of speed. So it's not going to catch something like an MSR, um, but uh, it, it's close to the speed of a constellation. Um, in atmosphere, it's more like a constellation. It flies like a constellation. And uh, in space, it also flies kind of like a constellation. So. Those are my thoughts on the Drake Corsair. You guys let me know your thoughts. Do you like the ship? Are you going to get the ship? Let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. All right. I'll see you on the next one.